Hello again. Um, I'm here for another pen review. Uh, I just uh, put up the review for the uh, PSP. I thought I'll put up another uh, flex pen, one that I quite enjoy and I love the look of. Um, this pen is the acrylic, I think it's Triveni from um, FPR, Fountain Pen Revolution Online. It's an Indian made pen. Um, I don't believe that this one is available anymore. But uh, you can get similar acrylic versions, just this specific one's not available. The reason I bought this one is just because it's such a beautiful pen. It's kind of hard to capture this on camera, but uh, it's very similar to the uh, Edison Collier uh, Permissum, uh, where it's got the quite deep look and uh, the acrylic is just gorgeous. Now, uh, alright, so that's that's the pen. Um, you clip, you know, it's, it's quite weak. But it works as a clip, it's nothing special. Um, you've got two black caps on either end, and then obviously this gorgeous uh, acrylic in here and a little silver band. Opening it up. Now, if you've ever bought a FPR pen, you'll probably notice that this section is actually the same on all the pens. Um, on the Surwex MB and the other pens such as that, they'll use the same section and they use a... Uh, cartridge converter pen um, you know in terms of special it's not that special but it's quite a nice pen still um, you know it's quite comfortable hold this is quite a large pen especially if you post it, it becomes enormous that's that's huge it's the size of my hand um, I don't typically post this pen as um, it just becomes too large then uh, the one on this pen is actually a flex nib, don't know if you can see that, but it's got a slice all the way through the pen, which gives it a bit more line variation. Uh, the dimensions of this pen are 149 capped, uh, 135 not capped, which is how I normally use it. Posted, it's a massive 180 mil. The grip section just at the base here is uh, 10 millimeters. The barrel is 12. Uh, weight with the cap is 18.6 grams. Without the cap, it's 11.75. Uh, the reason why I thought I'd post this pen as well was not just because of the acrylic, but also because of the line variation. I've done a measurement with no pressure. It's about 0.4 millimeters. And uh, with full flex, it ranges up to about 1.8 millimeters. So it's a pretty large flex range, better than the uh, PSP was. Um, it's a steel nib, and uh, it's reasonably cheap. It's about the same price as an Ahab, but I found that I haven't had the issues with this as I have had with the Ahab. I do enjoy messing around with the Ahab, getting it to be more wet or dry. But this one, straight out of the pack, all I had to do was smooth up the nib and um, just... Uh, make it a little bit wetter with a shim or two. Aside from that, it's not too bad of a pen, it just looks gorgeous. Uh, I'll do a writing sample and there's not, not much more to it. Cheers. Okay, so here we go with the writing sample. This is the uh, FPR Freveni, I think it is. Uh, orange. with a flex nib and it is inked with Hiroshizuku Chiku uh, Rin alright, so Oh, a quick round. Fox jumps over the lazy dogs. So this pen keeps up very well with the um, feed when you're riding normally. Um, then when you choose to flex it, it keeps up fairly well, but you still do have to take your time. So I'll show you some flexing.
you can see here that the uh, feet on the bottom is actually actually bottoming out a little bit on the um, on the paper. So I'll just adjust my posi writing position, and we're railroading. So obviously if you go too fast, as with most modern pens that are classified as flex, it will railroad quite easy on you. There we go, and we're back. Um, this pen is quite wet. I have given them a little bit of a uh, modification myself. Made it a little bit wetter and just smoothed out the nib a bit. So this is with no pressure. It's quite wet, then obviously if you lay down a thick line lays down a large amount of ink as you can see up here it was that much that it actually uh, feathered on the paper quite badly These are quite nice pens for the price, you know, it's nothing special, but, you know, look at that. That's why I love this pen. Just the colours in it are amazing and how it sheens. But, as I said, I don't believe this one is available anymore. You might be able to pick one up somewhere. But, um, even so, these nibs are quite nice. They're pretty cheap to get replacements if you want to mess around and try and uh, make it finer or wetter or flexier. They will also fit in other pens and uh, such as a Jinhao because they make a size 6, a size 5. I think they also make a size 8 as well. Um, yeah, so I'd recommend this pen or any of the others in the FPR range. They're all reasonably good and I've tried them all. Um, so that's all for now. Thank you.